Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and I'm still on the Sapphire board for now. <laughs> I don't know how much longer this will last, but we'll, uh, we'll take it while we can get it, you know? Okay, we can start Evo mode. We weren't so successful last time, but maybe we'll be better off this time. Close. My whole body jumped at that one, actually. I was very... I'm, I'm getting very into this game. Sometimes you just gotta... Never mind. It just... Never mind. What I was gonna say wasn't important. <laughs> uh, we're going back to the ruby board. I mean, ideally, you'd stick to one board until you got good at it, and then you'd just keep doing that, and we lose our save. Well, we used our save. We didn't lose it, but we used it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'd stick to one board until you were good at it, and you know, get a super high score, catch all the Pokemon, that sort of thing. But, eh. I just kind of feel like switching back and forth for now. Ah. There we go. Get some of that. Boop. There we go. Nice. Good stuff. Getting all sorts of good things out of this. Real early. Oh, I messed up. There we go. I, wanna, I do want to get in that hole there. Or slot. Uh, peak of bonus. No? Okay, well that works too. I mean, I, I kind of already had that, but okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. Yay, upgrade. That's neat. <sighs> and this is... Honestly, I could probably play this for hours. I'm not going to because I have other things I do tonight, or have to do tonight, but... Oh no, go in before the saber. Okay, went in before the saber was lost. Okay, okay, okay. all right. Yeah, I, I do have other things that you have to do tonight, so I'm probably not just gonna play this forever, but I could, I definitely could. I, I definitely couldn't play it on mic forever though, because, uh, oh, well that's unfortunate. But yeah, I recorded for about two hours yesterday. And oh boy, was my throat sore after that. <laughs> I thought I was going to finish Crash 4, but I didn't. Because <laughs> I guess, uh, you know, it looked like the end of the game, but it wasn't. I just, I just kept going. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no. Um... Awkward. But yeah, it, it, it uh, definitely wore me out. I Not only was my throat sore, but I was also very much out of energy. So... The only... Actually, the only reason I'm recording tonight, I could have put it off till tomorrow. Or even another day. After that. But the only reason I'm recording tonight is I... I had a really good nap, and because of that, I woke up with a lot of energy. <laughs> and it's very rare for me to have that much energy. So I figured, you know, while I've got so much energy, that would be a good time to, you know, record for the show. Because, you know, I feel like I'm significantly more entertaining when I have energy. Or at least I talk more. Which I guess could also make me more annoying. Probably does. Hmm. Oh well. If you think I'm annoying, you can just click off the video. <laughs> That's the luxury of uh, being on the other side of a screen. You can just turn the person off. Uh, much harder to do that in person. 
You know, that's, uh... That's something I feel like a lot of people don't think about when they think about either fictional characters or uh, online personalities. Is that, yeah, it's fun to watch them for like 15 minutes at a time or like even a couple hours if you're going down a rabbit hole of some sort. But to actually live with that person is an entirely different story. Like, for example, uh, one of my favorite champions in League of Legends is Jinx, who, for those of you who don't play League of Legends, is a, basically a psychopath with a bunch of guns. But she's really fun to play, and she's she's got a she's got a fun personality, in that she's pretty much straight up crazy. But like. As much as I like her in the game, I definitely would not like to encounter, even even encounter her in real life, let alone having any significant relation with her. Like, I would not want to work with her. That would be awful. Uh, just, just, I wouldn't want to you know, have a romantic relationship with her, because that would also be awful. It's like, and that's, I guess, I guess this really applies to, you know, people and their waifus. Because, yeah, that, uh, that, the, that tsundere might be, a uh, cute, you know, the, the, oh, I don't actually like you, I hate you, I mean, I'm gonna hit you because I don't want you to know that I like you. That might be, uh, that might be cool in you know, anime or whatever. But, uh, in real life, that would get really annoying. If she was just constantly hitting you anytime you did anything, basically. Or didn't do anything, because a lot of the times... A lot of times guys in anime get beat up for doing things that weren't their fault. Like if they get pushed into a girl's chest or something they get beat up for it. That's why I'm... I'm always refreshed to see in an anime when it's like... Oh yeah, the... Particularly in like a harem anime where there is a tsundere. Where they... Where the girl is like... Like one girl is causing trouble and the... The girl that in other anime would, you know, beat up the guy for, you know, the one girl pushing him into her or something actually goes and beats up on the other girl <laughs> because I don't know, this is this is sounding kind of weird, but uh, hopefully you get what I'm saying. I, I like when tropes are subverted. So seeing, you know, just, just seeing that trope of guy gets in trouble for doing vaguely sexual thing that wasn't actually his fault. <laughs> Seeing that trope subverted, I like. You know, I just in general, almost any trope I like to see subverted. Just because I have, I have this strange obsession with novelty. But yeah, uh, that was bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I explained myself well here, but yeah, I definitely, I, I you know, it's a version of trips. That's 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 what I like. <clears throat> that being said, I don't watch a lot of anime like that. I don't watch a lot of anime in general, actually. I watch it occasionally, but like it's in it's in stints, you know, I'll watch like a season of anime at a time and then I won't watch anime for like a month, no more than a month, like months, plural. And then it's like, eh, because, you know, I don't, I don't know, I got I got other forms of entertainment <laughs> that I enjoy more like, uh, well, um, the primary one is YouTube, but, you know. I, too, am one who 
searches the YouTubes for other people playing video games instead of playing video games myself. Because you know what? It takes more energy to play a video game than it does to watch someone play a video game. And I will stand by that. <laughs> so, I don't criticize people for being like... I, there, I know sometimes the argument is brought up of like, oh, why are you watching someone play a game instead of playing yourself? Like, especially when it comes to video games. Because, you know, theoretically anyone can play a video game, more or less. It's not... As opposed to, you know, physical sports where... Like, you could, you could make the same argument of, like, why, why do you like watching football instead of going out to play it? But that's because there's a lot more involved in physical sports. There's a lot more prerequisites to play a game of a physical sport. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily talking about, like, the physical requirements, like, oh, you have to be strong or fast or you'd be able to jump or whatever. I mean... Just like you have to get a group of people together in the same area. And. And, you know, get them all to agree to play. Which can be quite a hassle sometimes. What was the point I was trying to make? Uh, well, yeah, well, that's it's, I was trying to make the point of. I am not opposed to people watching games as instead of playing them because you know even even in the case of video games there it's it's harder to play a game than to watch one you know you could arguably you could make the same argument of like oh why are you watching a, a movie about people doing x when you could be doing x yourself and it's like well it's not quite the same you know So, yeah, yeah, I, it would, I mean, and that's, this is all besides the fact that it would just straight up be hypocritical of me, because <laughs> it's, it's, I get a lot of my entertainment from that. You know, I've watched a lot of Among Us videos right now, although I actually have an excuse why I'm not playing Among Us, because I have awful internet that would not work for Among Us. So, but yes, I've watched a lot of Among Us videos since that became popular. Isn't it crazy how that game was out for two years before, like, it gained any sort of following, really? Or any percentage of the following it has now? I'm sure there were people playing it beforehand, otherwise the devs would have give, actually given up on it before they did. Like, probably shut down the servers and all that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know? The game had already existed for two years when, when people really started recognizing it and it's interesting it's interesting how sometimes you know there's just there's just those gems out there that just didn't get recognized which isn't to say among us is a perfect game but i mean it's it can be pretty buggy at times from the videos i've seen again haven't played it myself but it does look like occasionally there is a bug or two But yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy, you know. There's, just makes you wonder, you know, like how how much out there is there that I'm missing? You know that. You know what kind of YouTube videos are there that are just real gems that I just haven't seen because well it wasn't recommended to me and. You know, I just I just haven't had the chance to see it yet. You know, it's like I've noticed recently there's been a lot of videos on YouTube that are like eight or nine years old that are getting recommended to people just now. <laughs> and it's kind of it's it's weird. <laughs> but like, I feel like that's probably how it should be. Like, I mean, ideally for the people who make the videos, the videos get watched immediately. That is, if they want everyone to see them anyway. Not everyone posts to YouTube for to get a bunch of views. But like, I feel like there should be that chance, you know, that 
that, you know, a video that's been sitting around for a super long time gets a, gets a bunch of views because, because there are just, oh, I thought, I thought I had, I thought I had charge on Pikachu. That's awkward. Ah, well, that's a game over for that board. Nope. Going back to the Sapphire board. Because yeah, there, there are that videos that straight up deserve more views than they've gotten. And, uh, if you're a particularly insightful person, you might be thinking, wait, is he talking about himself? And frankly, yeah, I'm kind of talking about my own videos. At least, not just my videos, but I do think, maybe it's arrogant of me to say, but I do feel like I deserve more views than I get. I feel like I do a pretty decent job here. I feel like I'm decently entertaining, maybe? I don't know. I mean, that's not really for me to judge, of course, but I consider myself better than some. <laughs> and I feel like that in itself should be worth something, but a piece of wisdom that I have heard from other YouTubers, once significantly more successful than myself, is that effort on YouTube doesn't always equal success. You know, I've heard this said a lot about individual videos, but I think it also just applies in general to where in a system like this, where you're basically just waiting to where you basically just kind of have to wait to be noticed. Then hold on. There we go. OK probably going to stop there anyway, but in a system where you're basically just kind of waiting to be noticed, there are some times where it's it just doesn't happen, not because the things that you're making aren't good, but because it's the die didn't the dice didn't roll in your favor, basically, because nobody, not even Google knows exactly how the YouTube algorithm works, so. Nobody can actually tell you, you know, why exactly it is that your video or your channel is or isn't doing well. So the advice I've heard for people such as myself who are trying to grow an audience is basically just keep going because the more videos you have out there, the more likely someone is to see and like your video and, you know, spread it to other people, either either directly via like, you know, posting it in a chat they're in or something or indirectly via the algorithm picking your stuff because, hey, you've got more watch time now. Yeah, that's that's, that's and that's that's kind of my strat right now. I am I am, of course, trying to improve because that also helps your chances. But is that a slack off? I like slack off. But yeah, you know, sometimes you just sometimes you just got to stick it out. You know, and it's <laughs> that doesn't just apply to YouTube. That applies to other parts of life, too. Sometimes you just got to stick it out until things get better. Do what you can to survive. And eventually you'll probably hit a stroke of good luck. I got the slack off. And you know what? Maybe we'll get another Pokemon next time but uh as for this episode that's a wrap
very weird.